of stone in air. We call it WA. That is 2.5 Newton. Now, this and 1.5 Newton in water. So weight of stone in water. We call it WWI, 1.5 Newton. So weight of stone in the liquid. That liquid happens to be kerosene from the question. That is WK. That is 1.7 Newton. So you can see, in water is 1.5, and this is kerosene, right? Good. So those are the difference. So the apparent loss in weight, you see, it was 2.5 in air. You drop it in water, you have 1.5. It means there's a loss in weight. That loss in weight is what we call uptrust. Because uptrust is the upward force which holds bodies immersed in fluids or liquid. So anytime you have a loss in weight, it is equal to your uptrust. It means it is equal to the force that can hold you on the surface of the liquid. Good. So which formula will I use now? As you can see, I can't use relative density because density of substance over density of water is not going to work. I can't use mass of substance over mass of water, it's not going to work. I can't use weight, it's not going to work. We are talking about uptrust. So I have to use the formula which is connecting relative density and uptrust. That's I think one of the four formulas we wrote. So relative density is the uptrust. Uptrust in kerosene over the uptrust in water. Now what is uptrust? It is the apparent loss in weight. The weight is between 2.5 in air. You dip the stone in water and you have 1.5. It means part of the weight is missing. The water is holding part of the weight. That missing part is the uptrust. That is the force which is holding that. That is why you don't fill the actual 2.5 and you fill the 1.5 in water. So uptrust is loss in weight. So if I want the uptrust in kerosene, it is the weight in air and it's the weight in kerosene. Take note. If I want the uptrust in water, that's a loss in weight in water. It is the weight in air and it's the weight in what? water. So this in turn will produce this. Kerosene, there's also 2.5 Newton, water. Now relative density has no units. It is real, as you can see. You get 0 0.8. So there's a concept of RD and uptrust. Okay, let's look at this question on relative density. From the question here, we have the mass in kilograms, standard. The volume is in CMQ, it is not standard. I have been given the density of water as standard. If I try to use this to work, I will end up getting my density as kilogram per centimeter cube, which can never cancel this in case I'm using density over density in terms of RD. So this should also go to meter cube to make everything standard so we can just cross out. If not, our RD to be determined will have a unit, which shouldn't be. So look at it well. So let me change this one towards meter cube. So solution. Now the volume happens to be 250. CMQ. So let's convert. But 1 million centimeter cube, remember the conversions I gave you from the beginning? It was 1 meter cube. Then, what will 250 CMQ give me? So that will be 250 CMQ. What is it equal to 250 CMQ? This comes here as if less more divides. Or by way of presentation times the right hand side, good. So this in turn will produce 2.5 times 10 to the power minus four, meter cube, yes. I have converted my volume term to meter cube. Do you remember from the beginning of the video, I told you that that's advantage. So when you, you don't use the parameter and you want to go changing term by term, there's advantage. So you see, we are, uh, we, 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 we have been posed with a problem where we have to change the volume. I've been able to do that because at least I know how to change 10 by 10. Good. Now I can look for the density of the solid. The density of the solid is mass over what? Volume. Now the mass of the solid was given as what? 450. And the volume is what I just had. Good. So you are going to get, no, that is 1.8 times 10 to the power of what? 6. This kilogram, there is a partition sign, 
Yes, Mr. Q. Yes. 1.8 times 10 to the power of 6. So, I've been asked to calculate the relative density of the solid. So, relative density. I have density of solid over density of water. That value is always known. It's standard. Why didn't I use mass of solid over mass of water? No. The parameters I have here are in density. So why should I go and use that formula? Or why didn't, you, why didn't I use uprust over uprust? It's not going to work. So please look at what you have and the formula linking relative density that you have to use. Good. So density of the solid is this. That is kilogram with a Q. That of water is also this. Kilogram per cubic meter. So when you cancel out, you are going to get what? 1.8 times 10 to the power 3. Or it's 1800123. Yeah. So there is RD as no in it. You see that you get this? Or that. So RD. RD. Any of them works. So that is it. Good. Now we can have an alternative to this, right? A very simple alternative to this. We can decide to maintain our volume term and change this one to grams and convert this. It will work. Now look at this alternative here. Now the mass is 450 kilograms. I want to change to grams. So I will quote. 1,000 grams will give me one kilogram. No, I think I'm going to grams, right? So I'm supposed to turn the formula so that I'll turn this so that my gram term will be on the right for me. So one kilogram equals 1,000 gram. So anytime you want to end up in grams, let that portion be on the right. Anytime you want to get kilograms, convert it, let it be on the right. That is it. Then. As I said, when you are converting, right, the volume terms on the left at one side should be the same. They should be different. Then you can apply the principle. Then this will give me this. It comes here. That is if the terms are the same. Good. And this will work very easy. So 450 by this, you get 450. One, two, three. So you get 450,000 grams. That is a mass. Okay. So I can see my mass here, right? Now my volume term is okay for me. The volume term still happens to be what? 250 centimeter cube, that is okay. So I find my density, density of stone. That is mass over volume. My mass is 450,000 grams and my volume is 250 cm cube, good. So that is what I'm going to get. Now when you put 450,000 over 250 together, what do you get? Okay. So when you put 450,000 over 250 together, what do you get? You get this. That is gram slash CMQ. Good. <laughs> and it's not similar to this, as you can see. They are quite different, fine. But do you know this? But 1,000 kilogram per cubic meter. Do you know it is equal to 1 gram per cm cube? Do you remember? The density of water is this. But if it is in a subunit, then it's the form that you see. So if it is not 1,000 kilogram per cubic meter, it is 1 gram per cm cube. So this value is equivalent to this. So if this was not given in this form, they will have used one gram. So I can still use one gram. So what will happen here? Right here. And I have relative density equals density of stone over density of water. So I'm seeing here that is 1800 gram per cm cube. And that is just what one gram per cm cube. And this in turn will produce this. Wow. RD really has no units. So do you see this method? Stretches from here to this point.